don't know uh, how many of you uh, were able to attend the celebration of life, but um, I didn't anticipate speaking there, but I pulled myself together and cried through it and was able to communicate somewhat what was on my mind. I did it, uh, I did it in a way of um, freestyle. In the past couple of days, uh, I've been to multiple memorial services. Um, that's not what this is. This is still a celebration of his life. Um, I've worked on a couple of things, and, and the more I read it, you know, I've got my cheat sheet here, and I'm going to read a few things off of it, and then, like Mahita, like um, Rose said, we're going to go ahead and pass the mic around. So, while I'm talking, while other people are talking, be thinking if you can, if there's any short story, something that's funny, anything that you've got, we'd all love to hear it. Um, so what I say today is only an inadequate expression of what I carry in my heart. We come together today to mourn the loss of Megiddo Shiroko, to share in the grief we all feel, and perhaps in that sharing to find the courage to bear our sorrow. We have lost such a great person. Mahito meant something to each and every one of you. To me, he was a fellow writer, a co-worker, a neighbor, a family member, one of my best friends, and ultimately a true brother. My brother was born with a big heart. He knew how to be serious at times, but he really knew how to joke around. He always found time to be with his friends. He was a very loyal and kind friend. He was also very polite, the first one to help anyone in need. So let's all be thankful for the fantastic memories that my brother has left us. And with that, I hope that my brother will continue to live on within our hearts and in our minds. And since Mejita will not be forgotten, he will live forever in our hearts. It's a quote I found, I like it. It matters not how a man dies, but how he lives. I don't think it Anybody else do that fits better than Mojito. A little background. Worked with Mojito for many years. He's one of the people.